I think they got like a standoff situation going on, I think. Oh, is that what it is? It looks like because they got those are tactical gear from what I know. Yeah. From what I've seen. Yeah, those are tactical cops. So they got like the SWAT team and stuff in one of these buildings. Uh, okay, yeah, because it was like this just uh, like at noon when I got off of work. It's been going on for that long? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. They even got an ambulance on standby. That's messed up. Yeah. So. And they talk about how there's a shortage of paramedics and stuff <laughs> like that, right? Oh yeah, that does. You ever notice it in OD? Two ambulances will show up. The guys in the red truck will show up. A fire truck will show up. Well, yeah. come on. Yeah. I've actually seen like OD type of situations where they, it takes them hours to show up. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Well, that's why we train so many people. Yeah. All right, that's those. They're putting benzos in the dope now. Are they? Yeah. Dirty, dirty drug supply. Yeah, that's what I've heard too. Yeah, unsafe, right? Yeah, and, and fentanyl, no, fentanyl, right? Yeah. I don't even, yeah. As long as you know what you're doing, eh? Right? Like, like me, I buy from consistent people all the time. Yeah. But once the cop starts busting those people, yeah. Then we have to, you know, fucking spin the wheel, play roulette. Be careful, man. Oh, yeah. I'm 58. I've always been. Yeah. Awesome. Two holes in the arms, better than one in the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pleasure meeting you, man. Yeah, Have a good one. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, y'all? Julie, what's going on? Okay, so we got like, apparently, according to that guy's awesome. He said he's been, they've been around here. This has been going on since like at noon. So that's like two, three, three hours, four hours that there's been an ongoing situation. Apparently, they got SWAT. Those, those vehicles you see over there in the middle, those three, those belong to... Uh, the tactical units like the SWAT team. So I don't know which building and they got this This is the pint public house They got a police line up here. I guess acts I guess they're cordoning off this sidewalk the other side It's not cordoned off and there's a whole bunch of police cruisers here. There's got to be one two three four five six seven There's like eight police and they've actually got paramedics on standby, which is a bad sign So it seems like they're anticipating that someone's gonna get hurt. They probably got I don't know, it might be someone going through a mental health issue or something, but... Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, so this is all tactical units. Like, I filmed a few of these, like, standoff. I filmed, filmed like, two or three of these standoff type situations before. Yeah, and those, the ones in the middle, those are recognizable as SWAT team. There's, like, how many? There's got to be, like, eight SWAT team members or whatever. Oh, they got this whole road cordoned off. Oh, they got some cops over there. So I'm not sure which building this is, but I think they evacuated the pub too. It doesn't look like anybody's in that pub. Yeah, this isn't that far from the Kanda Hotel. Probably like a... Is that where you're staying, the Kanda Hotel? You're probably not in danger. Whatever is going on, it's happening in one of these buildings. Oh, they got the mounted unit here too. You don't see this very often. Vancouver Police mounted unit. She's probably going to be safe. Yeah, there's at least 10, 12 blocks from the Canada Hotel. How many cops? Oh, we got a bunch of cops standing around. Typical of the Vancouver Police, there's community safety here. The Prado Cafe. Hey, is it like a standoff situation going on? I have a good one. Yeah, so Abbott Street is pretty much, if you're traveling in this direction, this, I don't know how long this is going to be closed off. Apparently this has been going on for like three hours now, according to that guy. So there's some kind of standoff situation happening in one of these buildings. Movie crews probably aren't allowed to use that yellow tape. Hey Lynn, what's going on? Nice to see you.
Yeah, I think they got another like SWAT team tactical unit in the alleyway over there. You can see there's a truck parked over there. Hey, how's your day been? Axel, what's going on? Yeah, anytime they have an ambulance on standby, that's a good thing, but that's also concerning. They probably got all their weapons out. <laughs> uh, this isn't Compton, it's Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, so there's got to be at least like 20, 30 cops on scene here. Sonja, what's going on? I'm not totally sure what's going on. It's a developing story type of thing. We got at least 20, 30 cops on scene. There's SWAT team on scene. They got the roads blocked off here on Abbott Street, East Tasting Street, Abbott Street. It seems like a stand-up. I talked to a person, cool guy. I think he he resides in one of these buildings. So he said he, this has been ongoing since like 12 p.m. or something apparently. So it's been three, four hours. It seems like a standoff type of situation. Yeah, this pub is empty too. So it might it might be the building there's I think there's an apartment building right above this bar, restaurant, whatever this is. So that could be where the incident is taking place. Yeah, you can see those are apartment buildings. Hey, it's like, now you can just go through this. Oh, people are just going through this caution tape. All right, I might get falsely arrested. <laughs> They're looking for any excuse to falsely arrest me. So I saw this woman go past the caution tape, so I'm going past the caution tape too. <laughs> Oh, it looks like this is the building where it's happening. Whatever is happening, I think it's happening. How's it going? No, we're good on this Thanks for everything, man. Hey, some cops are coming out of the... Okay, so this is the building where it's happening. It's next door to the bar for... 455 Abbott Street, I guess. Hey, yeah, thanks for sharing the live. Appreciate it. Uh, some cops just came out of the building. That sergeant seems pretty sketchy. He's in a few other like few other police incidents that I filmed. Seems to be on the sketchy side. How's it going, man? It going? Can you provide any information? What's going on? No, I can't. I, uh, I honestly don't quite know what's going on myself. Uh, but okay. could you just go on the other side of the tape for me? Uh, someone just came through there. Like it doesn't yeah, seem so like people are just going right through. Residents of the building. Uh, but uh, for your safety, on the other side, please. Thank you. Yeah, that guy knows me, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get some info on what's happening. It definitely seems like a standoff situation. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna stick around for the like entirety of this but if, if it's been going on for like three hours already it's possible it could go on for another couple hours <laughs> yeah so these are the SWAT team vehicles right here that awesome mural across the street <laughs> go in the building you need a key pass to go into that building it's some kind of it's a private residence or whatever, some kind of condo apartment. Oh, it's a hotel. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, hey, we got a troll in here. Okay, mm -hmm. some of the cops are leaving. And it's very possible there's somebody going through like mental duress or something. Yeah, like the, there was another standoff that I filmed probably a month or two ago and that was somebody going through mental health issues. I think they were shot with a beanbag gun. You could hear a shot. That's actually on my YouTube and TikTok. You could actually hear the shot going off. So I'm not sure if it was an actual gun or like a beanbag gun that they were shot with. Oh, you can, yeah, it was, you can hear the gum chewing. That's pretty weird. You shouldn't be able to hear that. I'll move the <laughs> I'll move the phone further further away from my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I can be a pretty vocal gum chewer. <laughs> so, so. Hey, what's going on, Leanne? Yeah, so again, there's that's a lot of. I'm actually gonna go back to that side. I want to see the SWAT team people come out. I'm not sure if they're gonna have somebody arrested, detained, whatever, but there's a better view from the door. There's a better view of the door on that side. Lynn, you're awesome. I'll, awesome having you in here. You've been in a bunch of lives, so I appreciate you being in here. You could be doing anything right now. Thanks for choosing to be in here. You make the lives better. Appreciate it. Okay, so there's a pretty good view of the door, like when the SWAT people come out and stuff, if they have somebody with them, there's a pretty good view of the, the entrance exit. Darren, hey, thank you for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Anybody that wants to subscribe, I'll try to subscribe back to you. There's an ambulance, there's paramedics on standby here, so... It seems like they're anticipating that someone, they're anticipating that someone's going to get hurt. Go on the other side and face the door. I think the, from the other side, I think the view of the door is blocked by one of these SWAT team vehicles. So there's a better view from here, I think. That's the door right there, right next to the bar. What bar is this? The Pint, the Pint Public House. It's the apartment building right next door to this where the incident is taking place. Yeah, it's great. Like most of these, like most of these incidents that take place, so many, a lot of them probably like have a mental health component. It's so hard for people to get mental health help in the city in Vancouver. It can take months. I mean, there's waiting lists that stretch as far as like eight nine months even even people that are like serious possible mental health issues like schizophrenia things like that it's not easy for them to get help exactly the family doctor there, there was a family doctor shortage there's a mental health professional shortage shortage I mean, Vancouver is an awesome place for the most part, but right now we got multiple crises going on. Like, there's a homelessness crisis, there's a mental health crisis, healthcare crisis. Yeah, exactly. It can cost thousands of dollars just to see a psychiatrist. Like, I end if somebody's on the. I mean, if someone's like financially vulnerable. It's even, it can be even more difficult to access a psychiatrist, psychologist, and most of them, they, it's basically like fast food psychology. They, they pretty much, they just give them drugs. They don't really help get at the core of the problem. They just pretty much hand out drugs. What's going on? 
Yo, I'm gonna try and ask this person what's... How's it going? Do you happen to know what's going on in there? Yeah, you know, uh, thank you man, have a good one. Oh. I mean, you don't have to be rich to be in Vancouver, but yeah, costs are constantly rising. It's like this all over though. It's not just Vancouver. Vancouver is one of the most expensive places in Canada and the world But it's like this I think all over got some more people coming out How's it going? I think that's a paramedic a paramedic just came out so it's possible it's like I don't know if somebody's been shot So it looks like there might have been a need for medics inside Again the people who are on here are the residents of this building. Yeah. They, they are I'm like right here. Yeah, if you could just like, you're more than welcome to film. Mm -hmm. But you see the line. Yeah. And maybe around. If you want to go over there, it's all good too. Okay, cool. Right? So this is just for the residents. Is it fine? I'm standing here. This is pretty, this is still pretty far away, right? It's like, it's a few feet from that line. I don't think you're over. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, all right. Have a good one. Take care. Oh, okay, have okay, a good one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a public sidewalk. You can go wherever. They're just trying to like exert control where they don't have control. It doesn't even make. Di I was like two feet away from this police line. What difference does it make? Me standing there or me standing here? It literally makes no difference. We got another troll in here. Another possible troll in here. It doesn't matter if somebody's being nice, if somebody's trying to violate your rights or whatever. It doesn't matter if they're doing it in a nice way. Uh, more. Some of these trolls gonna get booted. Hey, we got some boot liquors in here apparently. Another troll. <laughs> Yo, why do the trolls even bother? Why do the trolls... It's probably cops, right? I've heard... From what I've heard... They actually... Some of these cops... They actually monitor my social media. Like, some of them actually subscribe to my YouTube and TikTok. Some of them even come, come into the lives. So these trolls are probably cops. <laughs> you got 10 centimeters of snow in Ontario. That's crazy. We had back to back to back snowstorms about a month ago. Hey Julie, if there's any trolls, just block them. Don't even Do you have the do you have that feature? Can you block them? Just block any trolls. <laughs> Uh, all right, so not sure how long this is gonna go on allegedly one of the person a guy I spoke to earlier I think he actually resides in that building he said he this has been going on since noon Ah, it's a developing story type thing. I don't really have specific information right now. It's uh, from what I know so far, we got there's probably at least like 15, 20 cops on scene, even more than that initially. But some of them have left. All these, the cars, 
these vehicles you see parked in the middle of the road they belong to SWAT team so we got SWAT teams in that building it's an apartment building beside the bar here so that's where the incident is taking place it's possibly someone going through mental distress they got an ambulance here on standby so it seems like it's possible somebody's gonna get hurt hey dirty diesel what's going on yeah from the UK UK seems pretty awesome Hey Twitter, what's going on? <laughs> Chick Fila, Fila. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna try to pay someone to smuggle, to smuggle some Chick Fila burgers for us from across the border. <laughs> yeah, and what a waste of resources that is. There's like cops standing around just gossiping with each other, literally doing nothing. Like they already got the police tape up. It's not even necessary for them to be here. I'm gonna ask this. Do you want some help with the wheelchair? Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Have a good one. Foot rest broke. Uh -huh. The alley that broke my foot rest yesterday. Oh, your foot rest broke. Oh, you gotta get that broken. fixed. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, the alley there. The securing the scene, come on. All they're doing is wasting time. Of course, try to help out whenever you can. <laughs> Even a small gesture can mean a lot. It's crazy how some people, some people are suspicious of even like good deeds. Like sometimes, like at Costco, at the Costco, the SkyTrain Station Stadium Chinatown near here, that's by Costco. Sometimes you'll see like a senior or something. They don't have an elevator there. So if somebody buys a bunch of groceries from Costco and it's heavy, like they have to climb up like 20, 30 steps. So sometimes if you see somebody like lugging something up the stairs and it looks like they need help, you'll ask them. And it seems like they think you're gonna steal their groceries or something. Some of them even like decline help because it seems like they're suspicious that you're gonna take their stuff. Yeah, it's not really a bad area. It's mostly safe. There are police. There are like some police incidents around here. Yeah, this guy, and it's not totally, it's not totally confirmed that whoever is, whoever is involved in this incident has like a mental health issue, going through mental distress, but it's very possible. And it's crazy that it keeps being neglected by the government, like it's so underfunded, mental health is so underfunded in Vancouver, and probably like Canada in general. Hey, Dirty Diesel, you're awesome, thanks for the weights, appreciate it. Christopher, hey, thanks for Christopher Chunk. Thank you for subscribing. Try to subscribe back to you. Anybody that wants to subscribe, I'll try to subscribe back to you. I don't know about all the NWO conspiracy theories, but it is pretty crazy like how corrupt a lot of governments are. No, they don't get enough. It's not even close. Like look up the look up the actual statistics. It's not keeping I think mental like mental health illness issues, it's exploded in like the 10, 15 years in la the last 10-15 years and the funding hasn't been keeping up with the demand just like pretty much everything housing it's the same it's the same thing going on with housing and so many other services 
Oh, it's you again. No wonder. It is a conspiracy theory for now. I mean, there, there might be some truth to it. There probably is some truth to it, but... Leanne, where, what's your location? Yeah, I think pretty much every... Hey, you got some SWAT team members coming out. Oh, there's a SWAT person coming out over there. Oh. Hey, this road, oh, it's closed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this road is closed. I thought like some, most, some of the cops, they're looking for any trivial reason to falsely arrest me. So right now I'm like in the middle of the road. But it's closed off right now on both sides, so they can't falsely arrest me for jaywalking. I don't know if they're. I'm not sure what the full details. I'm not sh about. Apparently, it's been going on for like four hours. I don't know if somebody's been hurt or not, but I did see a paramedic come out. Oh, they're taking something. Is that a chainsaw? What is that? Oh shit! Yo, that SWAT guy just took some kind of chainsaw or something out of his truck. He's going back inside the building. <laughs> yeah, I'm not totally sure if that was a chainsaw, but what kind of tool is that? Hey, around, please. You don't have any authority. Oh. Paramedic getting snippy. Yo, so the paramedics are moving closer, so I think something's gonna happen now, I don't know. Yo, what a, yeah, I think, the, I don't know what that was, but it was kind of a longish. I think something bad is gonna happen. They're getting ready. If they haven't gone in already, they might be getting ready to move, move in now. Yeah, and some of these paramedics are terrible too. Like most of them are cool. But there's some of them, it seems like they're trying to, they're actually complicit. They're trying to actually cover up whatever is going on. Like they don't want you to get footage of whatever is going on. Cut through a door, someone's done a barricade. Dirty diesel, yeah, you're probably right about that. Yeah, who, who, who called the police in the first place? I'm not sure who called the police in the first place. What was the reason for them calling the police? It could just be some Karen falsely calling the police on someone. Oh, you can actually hear. I think a battering ram. Oh, they're actually busting. Oh, I'm gonna go across the street, I think. They're actually busting through somebody's door. What? You can't see that well from here, but you can hear like a twanging, like a blam sound, so it seems like... Oh shit, they started up the chainsaw. Yo. I don't know if there would be a better view from across the street. Okay, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna send this into the news later on. This is probably gonna be on the news. I don't see any like news outlets here right now, but this seems like a type of thing that's gonna be on the news. Hey, Doug McLean, thanks for sharing the live, appreciate it. Are they trying to scare the guy or woman out of the apartment? by turning on the chainsaw. <laughs> They're gonna hear the chainsaw and like come running out of here. Uh, it's an apartment building, it's right next, there's this place called The Pint, The Pint Public House. 
It's right next door to that. Oh shit. You you can't You can't zoom in on lives, apparently. That's the front door. I don't know what they're doing with the front door. But they, they haven't evacuated the building apparently because there's still people coming in and out of that apartment building. So they haven't, they might have evacuated one of the floors, but there's still people going in and out of there. So they haven't completely evacuated the building. This is in America, Alex. This is actually Canada. How's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. So the, uh, that side of the road is uh, completely free compared to the town Kaz, hey, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Anybody that wants to subscribe, I'll try to subscribe back to you. The weird thing about TikTok is, is once you, once you subscribe to 10,000 people, like apparently, apparently they put a cap on the amount of people you can subscribe to. Like once you hit 10,000 subscribers, they won't let you subscribe to any more people for some reason. Yeah, this is Vancouver. You live in Maple Ridge. You guys probably don't see this type of stuff. I mean, it seems rare that like big police incidents happen in Maple Ridge. <laughs> TikTok creeper, nice name. How's it going? Yeah, this is Vancouver. This is where is this? This is Abbott Street. This is right across the street from one of the malls. Uh, what is this mall called? I forgot. Tinsel Town, I think it's called. It's right across the street from here. There's a standoff situation going on. Apparently, it's been going on for like four hours. A guy I spoke to earlier, he said he saw this. He saw this taking place since like 12 o'clock. International Village, yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. What time is it here? It's 4.28 p.m. I wonder if you had a drone? <laughs> like, would you be able to fly the drone like really close to... I'm pretty sure it's some kind of mental health situation. I could be wrong about that, but I filmed a couple other standoff situations and in at least in one of those situations there was the person was going through some mental health episode. And I think they got shot by the police. That standoff went on for like two hours, I think, and they were shot I think it was beanbags or a regular gun, I'm not totally sure. I'm in the building next door. Right Got another possible troll in here. I don't know, Vancouver cop police are, they're not all bad, but it's amazing how corrupt they are. Like right now, I've actually got a police complaint going through, through the OPCC, right? They're supposed to, they claim that it's an independent board, but it's just cops investigating cops, right? And they're actually trying to sweep it under the rug, like... It's about a false arrest, like the second time I was falsely arrested for filming in public, and they're actually trying to... Sweep the whole investigation under the rug. Yeah, it's a standoff situation. There's a truck in that alleyway too. It's blocking the... It's cordoning off the road. I think the, that's a SWAT team vehicle as well. No wonder, I'm not saying... I'm saying they are corrupt, but not all of them are corrupt, right? There's gotta be... I'm not totally... It's possible they are all corrupt, but... I mean, there probably are at least one or two good cops in the city, right? But for, yeah, for the most part, they are corrupt. It's not just Vancouver, right? Police corruption 
it's worldwide. Pretty much every <laughs> every province in Canada, every state in the U.S. It's all over. It's probably a combination of both corrupt and lazy. <laughs> and and look at that. That cop is being paid thousands of dollars to what? Just stand around. And we got another troll. That's not a justification. Some of these bootlickers, that's the excuse they try to use that it's a difficult job, right? That doesn't excuse killing innocent people and doing some of the terrible things that cops do. They chose that profession. Anyone that becomes a cop, they know what's involved in it. They know there's possible danger involved in it, stress involved in it. They chose that. So that's not an excuse to do some of the terrible things that they do. Police, especially in Vancouver, have some of the... It's one of the easiest jobs there is. Like, look at... How, there's so many cops, like if you go, if you see a police incident happening, there's typically like at least five or six cops just standing around doing absolutely nothing, just gossiping with each other. Possible troll. It doesn't any innocent people and in doing the terrible things they do. There's a lot of... There's a lot of possibly difficult professions and they don't go around killing innocent people. I'm not gonna do a shared live right now. Troll's gonna get booted. Mosh, yeah, corruption is pretty widespread, but... I, I, but the thing with police corruption is they actually kill people, right? They got weapons. Like people in government, like corrupt people, for example, in government. I mean, their corruption doesn't actually kill people, but police corruption. Like how many people, how many innocent people have died at the hands of corrupt policing? Another troll here. Davon, hey, thanks for subscribing. I'll subscribe back. I'll try to subscribe back to you. There's construction or something going on in this alleyway. Another troll. Hard marble, thanks for sharing the live. Appreciate it. Okay, so there's a standoff situation. I don't know how much longer this is going to take. Apparently it's been going on for like four hours. I think somebody's possibly with a mental, possibly going through mental distress or something. I think they might have barricaded themselves inside of their room. I'm not sure who actually called the police and for what reason, but there's, there's got to be at least 20 cops on scene. There's SWAT teams on scene. About five minutes, no, about 10 minutes ago, one of the SWAT team members came out and got a chainsaw. They took the chainsaw inside the apartment. I don't know what they're... I think they're gonna storm the person's room or whatever. A leading cause behind incidents like this is there's so little, it's so difficult to access mental health. There's probably so many people like struggling right now with their mental health that are being un left untreated and that stuff can escalate, right? I mean, some, some of these incidents that take place where mental health is a component of it, if that person had gotten help sooner, if there was intervention sooner, that whole thing could have been prevented. Exactly, we need... Amelia, what's going on? I didn't see you. This is close to Hastings Street. It's on Abbott. It's on Abbott Street and West... Abbott and West Pender Street, right in front of the mall. 
Inter International Village Mall. Possible troll. Dave, thanks for sharing the live. Yeah, it's insane. Like, situations like this continue to happen. Police incidents and stuff involving, like, standoff situations like this, involving people with mental health issues and the government. And they should pretty much declare it an emergency, right? Like, like, the mental health crisis in Vancouver, it should be declared an emergency and, like, all levels of government just chip in for funding. Exactly. And I'm not sure if there was a violent situation going on prior to this, like what was the reasoning behind the phone a police call? But like unless somebody's being violent, like they shouldn't call the police. There's some Karens that falsely call the police on people and just jeopardize their lives by sticking the cops on them. So like unless somebody's actually being violent or has a weapon or something, like the police shouldn't even be called. Arthur, yeah, that's what it seems like. It seems like they don't care about mental health. I mean, they keep paying lip service to it, right? All these government officials or whatever. They'll say, like, how important mental health is and all this, but they don't back that up with actual ac action. Toxic bags, hey, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Anybody that wants to subscribe, I'll try to subscribe back. To okay, apparently this hotel is called the Lotus Hotel. Or the Lotus apartment, whatever. Hey, Q shots in here, what's going on? And, and one of the reasons it seems like that mental health is such a low priority is it, it appears that it disproportionately affects vulnerable people, right? Like, and, I mean, anything that affects vulnerable people is typically like a last resort for the government. Can you hear? You can actually hear them. There's actually, there's construction going on this, in, in this area too, so <laughs> those might be construction noises. But it's, it's the provincial government too, like Trudeau gets some of the blame for like the mental health crisis, homelessness crisis, but it's the provincial government that's failed to act too. And even before, even before Trudeau was in office, like the person that was before him, I think, what's his name, Harper or something? Like th these exact issues were going on back then too and he didn't, he didn't really invest enough resources in this stuff as well and he allowed it to like it doesn't seem like it matters who's in government who's in office whatever these types of issues are going to be a low priority for pretty much anyone in office John, what's going on? Hey, thank you so much for subscribing. Appreciate it. I'll subscribe back to you. What does the WEF stand for again? Momo, hey, thank you for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Yeah, I'm going to try to ask this dude. Oh, is that an undercover cop? I'm not, oh no. Oh. Hey bro, hey man, do you happen to know what's going on in there? Thank you. Oh, world economic. Oh, there's like a bunch of theories, conspiracy theories surrounding that thing. What is that? Some kind of organization? 
I'll do some research on that later on. Not too familiar with the WEF. Kiki, what's going on? So this is on West Pender Street and Abbott Street. It's near Hastings. It's right across the street from that mall over there. There's a Tim Hortons right there. There's a bar next door to the apartment. Oh, pro hey, Kiran. I didn't see you. How's it going? How's your day going? You change your profile pic a lot. <laughs> Seems like. No wonder, yeah, I'm gonna check those videos out. Yeah, thanks for linking those videos. I mean, but that, that's the thing about conspiracy theories, right? It seems like in almost every conspiracy theory, there's some like shadow, there's some shadow organization like pulling all the strings. And it's probably as simple as like the government, the actual government is corrupt. I don't, I don't know if anyone's actually like pulling the strings behind the scenes. It's probably as simple as the government is corrupt, like money corrupts, power corrupts. It's probably like as simple as that. Rogers 5G <laughs> went down for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I think Rogers, there was a, there was some kind of merger going on between Rogers and Shaw. I don't know if it act, I think they approved it. I heard people saying like it's going to kill competition if they allow that merger to go on. And I think they did allow it to happen. Hey, shout out to the, let's do a shout out. Shout out to the top viewers, Dirty Diesel 2022, Lynn. Arthur, Villa, Saran, what? Haley, Anita, Julie, Sue, Derek, Four, Twelve, Alex, Alexander, Little Bear, Juicy, Kaz, Lanita, Kelly, Chop, J Duck. Y'all are awesome. Unless there's any trolls in that list. <laughs> there's a conspiracy between Rogers and Telus. Hey, there could be some price fixing thing. I don't know. Apparently, if you guys know the Superstore, I don't think they have Superstore in Canada, but there's a company, Loblaws. They own Superstore and a bunch of other like grocery chains. And they were actually involved in like a price fixing, bread price fixing scheme with a bunch of other grocers. Yo, someone's getting hostile. It's public. But it's public though. If you're in public, does everyone ask for well, anyway? It's cool. It's cool. Yo, some guys getting hostile. Like, like, why would you get? Don't even go out in public. <laughs> like, if you're afraid of cameras, like everyone's got cameras now, pretty much. I mean, if you're afraid of cameras, like, don't even leave your house. Yeah, low blows. They own Sobiz. No, they own a bunch of stuff. Oh, they got super. Yeah, I think they have it in other provinces too, I guess. But it's not in the state superstore low blows. I think. They might be. JD, I'm not talk sure if you're talking to me, but appreciate it if you are. Uh, they're not in a store. If you see that apartment building, it's called the Lotus Hotel, apparently. That's where, it's right next door to the bar over there. So that's where the incident is taking place. I don't know how long this is going to take. Bru said, thanks for subscribing, I'll try to subscribe back to you. They got an ambulance on standby and I don't know, one of the SWAT guys took a chainsaw up there. Probably about 15 minutes ago. Seems like they're gonna storm the room so it's possible someone's gonna get hurt. Yeah, it's a standoff situation. Like the amount, the, the amount of SWAT, SWAT team members on scene, that's pretty much an indicator that it's a standoff type situation. Uh. 
Yeah, there's actually a better view of the door from this from this perspective, I guess. Yes. It depends on the area, I suppose. Some people are friendly. Like I've actually seen complaints that it's a it's a difficult place to make friends because some people are standoffish, clicky, stuff like that. I think one of the biggest complaints about Vancouver is that it's hard to make friends here. So I don't know. It's a mix. It's a mixed bag, I guess. Some people are friendly. Some people aren't friendly. Yo, no wonder you gotta chill. <laughs> chill on the conspiracy. Chill on the conspiracy stuff a bit, I guess. Yeah, it is. It is pretty clicky. I don't I, I don't think most most strangers don't even talk to each other like let's say you're in a lineup waiting for the bus or something like most people it seems like most people try to avoid on eye contact they're on their phone or whatever No No there might be some truth to it but it's not really substantiated it's so there might be some substantiation to it but I don't know There probably is some truth to it but <laughs> yeah, you must be in a cult. Yeah, you gotta chill. I mean, it's good to be aware of that stuff. It's good to, you know, don't get all your news from the mainstream media and stuff. Look for other sources. Do your own research. That all that stuff is good, but that stuff's bad for your mental health, probably too. If you get too deep into that conspiracy theory stuff, that can that can be bad for your mental health, probably. <laughs> <laughs> living in the matrix Bacon, man, let's go Canucks Aren't they, The Canucks are doing terrible, aren't they? I think they're on a losing streak They just fired their coach um. <laughs> Rakesh called, I probably, I gotta grow a beard I gotta grow my, <laughs> grow like a big shaggy beard. Rick, I, I asked one of the cops if it was a standoff situation and of course they're not going to provide specifics about what's going on but you can clearly see, like just from looking at the scene, you can clearly see it's a standoff type of situation Yo, the cop across the street is literally doing nothing, he's just standing by the door Like go take another call or something, what a waste of resources Hey Anthony, what's going on? Hey, thanks for being in the live. No, isn't his job to actually pursue criminals? <laughs> Do some actual police work other than stand around. Another troll. Yeah, it's it's only 4.50 right now, 4.50 p.m. Hey, what time is it in air location? Uh, rush hour is about to start. <laughs> yeah, that dude should. He should. He should apply for the Buckingham job. Like <laughs> most of these Vancouver police, it seems like they do a lot of standing around. Yeah, so they should. <laughs> they should apply for the Buckingham. Huh? No, no. Some of them are terrible. Like some of the most corrupt police, Vancouver police. No, they're not. <laughs> we got a Karen, police Karen, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Look up how many innocent people they've killed. Innocent when they shoot, when they shoot an innocent person and kill them, that's not their fault. How is that that not their fault? Oh no, she's victim blaming. Oh, what in the world? So an innocent person gets killed by the police, 
and somehow it's their fault? What in the world? That's an epic Karen right there. Yo, epic Karen. What in the world? Like how much of a bootlicker can you be where you victim blame? Like some innocent person gets killed by the police. It's not the cop's fault. It's the person's fault. Well, it's easy if you blame it on the police and you don't have to take responsibility uh, for your own action. Oh no, she's still... She's still talking. No, it's not rare. This is like the land of Karens. Vancouver is becoming, it's quickly becoming like land of the Karens. <laughs> There's a lot of Karens around here. I've actually, I've got her on camera. I'm gonna put that up on TikTok later on. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna follow me or not. Oh no, she's not following me, that's good. She's, she's probably related to a cop. Well, like acquaintances with the cop, or maybe an ex-cop. <laughs> it's a developing story. Don't have all the information yet. I'm surprised there aren't any news outlets or whatever around here, because this is a pretty. I mean, this seems like it would be a big story. Four, three, four hour standoff. So she was actually, that Karen over there, she was actually blaming. She was saying it's not the police's fault. Like if, if they kill an innocent person, it's not their, it's not the cop's fault apparently. It's the person's fault. They're probably gonna try to hush this up or something. Hey, but there's some actual, I mean, there's actually innocent people that run from the police, right? There's a lot of, there's been so many police killings, so much police brutality going on that most people, out of instinct, they're run from the police, like even, No, there's people that are actually afraid for their life because again, there's so there's been so many stories of police brutality, police killings. That let, let's say if somebody gets into a traffic stop, gets pulled over by the police, especially if it's a minority, like they're probably f afraid for their life that they're gonna sh get shot for no reason. So it's not surprising that some people, like even innocent people, try to get away from the police. Are they obviously uh, Caucasian people aren't immune to police killings, police brutality? There's plenty of white people that get killed and brutalized by the police as well. Yeah, but it seems like a disproportionate amount of police killing killings are BIPOC. Darm, what's going on? Nice to see you. Okay, so it's possible this is gonna go on for like another hour or something. The guy I spoke to earlier said this whole thing started at like 12 p.m. So it's already gone on for three, four hours. It's possible it's gonna go on for another couple of hours. Got a possible troll in there. Katie, what's going on? It's a standoff situation. Apparently it's in its fourth or fifth hour. That building where you see the cops standing and there's somebody going in, somebody on their bike. That's where the incident is taking place. I think somebody possibly going through a mental health crisis. They barricaded themselves in their, inside of their room. Apparently, I don't have all the information yet. possible to there probably isn't even like a mental health professional on site here it's all cops even though cops barely have any mental health training and they have a horrible tra track record dealing with people going through mental distress
I mean, uh, the Vancouver police are so corrupt that they're having trouble recruiting from what I've heard. <laughs> like, not a lot of people want to join the VPD now. Gabe, what's going on? Thank you for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Nick, thank you for subscribing. Oh no, it's starting to rain a little bit. It's getting dark. I shouldn't argue with you. Yo, the Karen's still around. What? Uh. Why is she still around? <laughs> yeah, I think she's actually trying to instigate with me. What in the world? Stacy D. Reek, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back. Raining in Terrace. <laughs> Would you date a Karen? Imagine somebody, imagine somebody being in a relationship with a Karen. That's got to be one of the worst things a person can go through probably. <laughs> being in a relationship with a Karen. Ogden, hey, thanks for sharing the live. And like, it's cool if somebody has a difference of opinion, right? I was, But some people, they don't even want to look at the evidence, right? They don't even want to look at the other side. Like that, that Karen, she obviously, she supports the police, right? But she's not even too willing to acknowledge that there's a lot of wrongdoing going on on the part of the police. She just tries to blame the other side for it. You're near the Alaska border. Oh, that's, must be freezing. Must be freezing over there. Hi, right, Ginger's in here. What's going on? Nice to see you, Ginger. Uh, it's wandering rebel. So there's a standoff situation going on. There's SWAT team. There's like multiple. All these, all these pickup trucks or whatever you see here, and parked in the middle of the road. All of these belong to the SWAT team. There's apparently, I think there's another SWAT team vehicle parked in the alleyway. You know what happened, dude? There's a standoff going on. A standoff? Yeah, I think somebody's like bar possibly like going through mental health issues or something. That somebody's like barricaded in their room. They just took a chainsaw up there. Like the cops, the SWAT oh, team like, is crazy. Yo, can I film this for a minute? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is gonna be some gruesome shit right here. Yo, there. apparently it's been going on for like four hours. For real? Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. I should, uh, I should, I should, I should, I should, Have a good one. And like any anytime there are paramedics on standby, like that's concerning. They're probably gonna, they're probably anticipating that they're gonna use their weapons. Yeah, there's Tim Hortons across the street. Koresh, was that a typo? Hey, thanks for the donut, appreciate it. <laughs> T-Rex, thanks for subscribing, you're awesome. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Ah, it's so much of the... So much of what's going on in Vancouver, like the mental health crisis, it has to do with government neglect. Hey, you're from Australia, that's pretty awesome. How's the weather in Australia right now? Is it winter or summer? What's what's the season there? Michelle, thanks for following. I mean, thanks for subscribing. I'll subscribe back to you. <laughs> nice. What's going on, Scary Terry? Possible trope. Yeah, I know. They're looking for any reason to falsely arrest me. <laughs> Gale, what's going on? I hear from Dubai. I wonder what's 
like, are they having a tea party up there or something? Like, what? I know they're not all bad, but it's mostly bad. Seems like. Or the kid. <laughs> Yo, the Karen's still on scene. She's talking to other people. <laughs> Jason Powell, hey, how's it going? No, this isn't a film set. This is a police incident, standoff situation. Apparently underway. It's been going on for like three, four hours so far. Hey, Ginger's amazing. Check out her page if you haven't already. She's got some awesome content. This is Vancouver, Canada. Hey, that's a pretty impressive looking puddle over there. Mike, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Yeah, so it looks like there's a SWAT vehicle across the street as well in the... Blocking off the road in that direction. Lisa, 930, thanks for subscribing. Try to subscribe back to you. <laughs> There's hard-hitting reporting going on right here. Check out this puddle right here. I mean, it's unlikely, it's, it's unlikely there's going to be a shootout type of situation. The person probably isn't even armed. I'm not totally sure. I don't have the specifics yet, but. Hey, with the amount of, with the amount of SWAT people over here, it's probably not going to make it to the, whatever happens is going to happen probably inside of the building. Yeah, standoffs going on in the Lotus Hotel. We actually almost got a place, like last time when we were, we were looking for a place to rent a couple years ago when we, moved, move, when we moved out to the downtown east side and we actually checked out a place in this building. We almost moved here, but then we found a different spot. Arthur, have a good one. Thanks for being in here. Enjoy your chicken. <laughs> Dude, I totally want to get some Popeyes, but there's not, they don't have any locations in Vancouver right now for some reason. And I don't think they're even on the delivery services. Like Uber Eats, Skip the Dishes. I don't know why Popeyes isn't on there yet. Totally want some Popeyes. I think they're regular apartments. The rent's, the rent's insane. The rent's obscene. <laughs> it's, it keeps going up. It's like, it's like $2,000. It depends on the location. But if you're looking for a place in downtown, anywhere in Vancouver, it's like $1,500 to $1,200 just for like a one bedroom place. It's terrible. Dylan, hey, thanks for the likes, appreciate it. <laughs> yeah that, that's the insane thing some of these rents are climbing so high like you might as well have a but most people don't have like they don't have enough for a down payment i think or you would be better off if you're gonna pay two thousand dollars in rent like you would be so much better off just putting that towards a mortgage but i guess yeah most people don't have the finances to actually get a home right now 
The standoff's happening across the street at the Lotus Hotel. Ginger, yes. What's it like in New York? It must be even more expensive in New York. $1,600 for a one bedroom on Metro. Is it at least a nice place? Irene, yeah, it's in the prices are it's almost mind boggling like how much and it continues to rise. That's a th rent prices show no signs of like slowing down, just like an upward trend. <laughs> Malmo, Sweden, you pay two four hundred dollars for a two bedroom. What? Yeah, that's an awesome, it sounds like an awesome deal. What does that translate to in Canadian dollars? Like $400 over there? What would that be in Canadian US dollars? Oh, awesome. Hey, good for you, you own your place. Arsh, yeah, I'm gonna put this up on YouTube later on. Parts of it might be on TikTok as well. <laughs> I, I asked a couple of the cops if it, was, if it was a standoff situation, but they're not providing any specifics. There's a cop standing there by the door. Uh, there was a SWAT team member that got a chainsaw. He was like starting up a chainsaw and he went inside with the chainsaw about I guess 25 minutes, half an hour ago. Yeah, this is West Hastings Street and Abbott Street. It's in front of it's in front of a Tim Hortons and that mall over there, International Village. Pascal, hey, thank you for sharing, appreciate it. Arish, hey, thanks for sharing, appreciate it. Oh. Mm. Ainsley, yeah, I'm gonna go through downtown east side probably after this. Yeah well starting to get hungry. I'm almost tempted to go get something from Tim Hortons. <laughs> Bear, hey, thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. I'll try to subscribe back to you. So that's uh, the standoff situation they got going on. That's why it's closed off. The road's closed off in both directions. The alleyway is closed off too. And this is not something you see too often. The mounted. Vancouver Police mounted unit.
Look at the amount of cops. There's like four cops just standing around doing absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, they're getting paid thousands of dollars. Hey, this Prado Cafe. There's a standoff going on, police standoff. Allegedly, there's someone barricaded inside their room, possibly going through a mental health episode or something. Oh, they have good coffee here. Nice. Gotta check this place out sometime. Now the road is closed, you can just cross. <laughs> Yeah, have a good one. <coughs> hey, I am the darkness. Hey, thanks for being in here. I appreciate it. Enjoy your night. Seascape Villa, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Kenzie, thanks for sharing. Alex, thanks for the likes. Delta, you want to see the truck? Sure. Yeah, same thing. First time, first time seeing a mounted unit vehicle. Mounted unit, I think it's like horseback cops. They probably don't use like horseback cops, they probably don't use them unless there's a big protest or something going on. Yeah, that is pretty weird where the mounted cops are here. They can probably like stand in for like any any police incident? Can't mount a machine gun to it, Breaking Bad style. They should have enough police. They got a budget of like 370 million dollars. Where's that money going? If they still don't have enough police. I'm gonna put my gimbal on real quick. The camera's probably like way too... It's not steady enough. Got a troll in here. Hey, so there's a police standoff going on. These trucks you see. They belong to the SWAT team, so there's like, I don't know how many cops on scene, probably like 20 cops on scene. They got the road closed off, multiple directions. According to a guy I spoke to earlier, it's been going on for four hours. Possibly someone going through mental distress or something, barricaded in their rooms. A SWAT team member took a chainsaw inside the building about a half an hour ago. Seems like they're trying to get into one of the rooms. Nah, I'm surprised the news crew isn't here. It's possible they don't know about this yet.
Alan, yeah, this is pretty close to East Hastings Street. Just like the next street, East Hastings Street is the next street over. It's probably gonna be on the new. I'm gonna send them this video. I'm not sure if they'll do a story on it, but CTV News, CBC, all that. I'll send them. I'll send them the video later on. I'll point the camera up at the windows, but you can't really. You can't really see what's going on from the windows. <laughs> There's a police standoff going on apparently in the apartment next door. Oh. Hey. Hey, Corey, nice to see you. How's it going? Valerie, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. I mean, the official statement, any police, any police incident where there's possible, like, there's weapons involved, things like that, like, the police official statement is not to be trusted for the most part. There's usually a huge discrepancy between what they actually report and what actually happened. Hey, the Wandering Rebel, thanks for sharing the live. Lynn, thanks for subscribing. I'll subscribe back to you, possibly. Yeah, like there was a video, there was a video that I filmed probably three months ago in October where they brutal transit police, they brutalized the unhoused woman, right? And she didn't even commit a crime. She was just trying to get warm. It was like really cold then. It was raining and stuff. And they tried to lie about it. So like if you look at the official statement they released, they tried to blame her and said she was grabbing the gun and everything. But if you actually watch the video, like none of that happened. The, the cops pretty much fabricated the entire thing. Uh, not the propane one, the other one, but the uh, same thing with that. I don't know if they actually uh, released an official statement for the propane one. But that was probably full of fabrications as well. Oh, is it? Uh, thanks for that information. And Micro Kenzie is technically an SRO, but they're calling it micro units. Yeah, that's why we didn't move in here. It, the places are tiny. It, it is brand new though. Like it, the inside of it, it doesn't have any. It's way better than any SRO because it doesn't, from the looks of it, it doesn't have bug issues and pest issues. And most of the. It looks pretty brand new, like the appliances and all that. Uh, another troll. Hey, I'm gonna put the phone down and attach my gimbal real quick. Okay, cool. Got the gimbal on. Fuck. Oh, look, another SWAT team. A SWAT team member just came out. Oh, there's a SWAT team member right there. They just came out. They got the whole... Hey, the paramedics are out too now. It looks like they might be bringing somebody out now. I'm not totally sure. Hey, two of the SWAT team people are out. 
Hey, thanks for sharing the Okay, it looks like they might have They might have stormed the room already It might be over with Hey, they got the big guns out Whoa, what kind of gun is that? Is that a beanbag gun? I don't think that's a beanbag gun Okay, it looks like it's over Some of the SWAT team people are leaving Jason, hey, thanks for subscribing, thanks for sharing the live, appreciate it. Alright, so nobody's been brought out yet from what I can see. Possible troll. Oh no, 25 cent. You're not a bootlicker, are you? Okay, I'm not sure if anybody's been hurt or not, but. Okay, so one of the SWAT team, some of the SWAT team members are taken off. <laughs> but it's all, it's all gonna be visible. <sighs> like if they bring somebody out, if somebody, if somebody's been shot or whatever, like there's a good view of the door. You can see pretty much exactly what's going on. Crystal, hey, what's going on? Yeah, this is West Pender and Abbott. JP, no cap, hey, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you, Sharon, you as well. Kiran, thanks so much for likes. Okay, so some of the SWAT team members leaving. It seems to, I mean, it seems to indicate that it might be over with now. They probably storm the room they might have somebody in custody now the situation it looks uh, a standoff situation apparently has been going on for like four hours since like 12 p.m probably like 20 cops on scene there's a bunch of SWAT team members on scene some of them left yeah check out my old Saul Goodman what's going on nice to see you if you guys want to know just how corrupt some of the Vancouver police are, like one of the worst things they've done is the murder of Miles Gray. Like check out that story if you haven't already. Like that's got to be one of the worst police killings that's happened. Yeah, the chainsaw person's still inside. They took a chainsaw, one of the SWAT team members, they took a chainsaw inside about 40 minutes ago. Allegedly... It's a developing story, don't have all the specific details yet, but apparently someone barricaded themselves in their room. Possible mental health distress going on. Not sure who called the police or why, but yeah. It's more than a few. Most of the cops are corrupt, especially in this city. <laughs> exactly the bad the bad apple defense that doesn't cut it anymore it's obvious that 
There's only a few good apples. The rest of them, most of them are pretty much corrupt. Jordan, what's going on? Thank you for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Thanks for sharing the live, Aiden. Alan, hey, appreciate the compliment. Thanks for being in here. Have a good one, Wandering Rebel. And some more SWAT team members coming out. Arsh, thanks for sharing the live. Philip, thanks for sharing the live. Oh, check out all the equipment they have back there. Turtle Island, what's going on? I mean, Caucasian people aren't safe from bad cops either. There's plenty of Caucasian people that have been murdered by the murdered by the police falsely arrested brutalized all that stuff <laughs> yeah they actually took a chainsaw inside about 40 minutes ago i think they they might have cut through they might have cut through the door or something okay yeah it looks like no it's if the swat team members are leaving so it looks like they probably they stormed the they stormed the room I think. They probably got somebody in custody. Crystal, hey sorry about your cousin. What does CR stand for? Yeah. I mean, the paramedics aren't showing any urgency, they're not going inside or whatever, so... I don't know if there's any injuries. Oh, Campbell River. They haven't brought the person out yet, I'm gonna stick around for a little longer. See if they bring the person out. Oh, check out all the guns they had. Looks like they used the full arsenal. They had like the full arsenal with them. Yeah, exactly. Anytime the cops are like standing by in a situation, you know it's possibly going to be bad. Yeah, this is Vancouver, Canada. It's near Abbott, West Hastings Street and Abbott. There was a standoff situation. I don't have all the details yet. Apparently, it, it, it was ongoing for four hours since like 12, 12 p.m. or something, according to us, one of the people I spoke to. It looks like it's over with now, but they haven't brought anyone out. And there's still an ambulance on standby here. The SWAT team members are leaving. Yeah, outside the Pine. It's right there. The Pine Public House. It's the apartment next door, that's where the incident happened. Cindy, hey, thank you for sharing the live, appreciate it. Yeah, this is Vancouver. I 
Ashton, thank you for subscribing. Try to subscribe back to you. Please stand off. Like I, I filmed a different standoff about two months ago or something, and that that happened near here too. It was in a apartment building, probably like a mile away from here. That went on for like two hours, and the person apparently was going through mental health issues. I think there's a paramedic coming out. Somebody just came out of the building. I don't know, we got fire arriving here too, so I don't know. I don't know if they're here for this incident or a different incident, but uh this is Yo I think uh, I think they're going to a different incident. User56, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. I'll subscribe back to you. Possibly. Yeah. This is Vancouver, Canada. Oh, another cop just arrived on the scene, I think, more... Nice. So more cops arriving on the scene. Hey Gail, hey, Chris, Crystal, if you're if you're comfortable sharing, like, would you mind, like, who murdered your cousin? <laughs> Alright, there goes, there goes some more of the SWAT team members. Yeah, if she's not comfortable sharing, you, yeah, you can totally DM if you want or. Hey, if you don't feel comfortable sharing, you don't have to share, of course. Hey dude, what makes you think the Cineplex is gonna shut down? Are there more going in? What? No. How's it going? Okay, I thought it was over with, but it looks like there might be more cops actually going in. Yeah, that's weird. I totally thought it was... I thought the situation was done with, but oh! We got more SWAT members that just arrived and they're going in now. They just... one of them just cocked their gun. I'm not sure what kind of gun that is. Mm. Oh, they're actually... they're getting more weapons? What kind of weapon is that? So it's not over with what? Why the other SWAT team members leave though? That's kind of weird. Like why those SWAT team members leave and there's... Oh, maybe they're taking shifts or something. Because apparently this has been going on for like four hours. 
So maybe the other SWAT team, they're being replaced by... They're taking a break and they're being replaced by other SWAT members. Yeah, yeah, shift change. And I'm not totally sure, but it doesn't seem like there's any crisis negotiators on site. Like, shouldn't they have... Shouldn't they have, like, a mental health professional, a nurse or something, and, like, crisis negotiators on scene to try to de-escalate whatever is going on? Possible troll. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, that's a beautiful dog. Awesome dogs. <laughs> no, those are those are SWAT team members. Like these Ram trucks or whatever they are, these are the tactical SWAT team units. Yo, how long is it gonna take? It's actually it's starting to get cold. The temperatures are starting to drop again in Vancouver. It's gonna be like minus four, minus three for a couple of days, according to the forecast. My hands are like starting to freeze, kind of. And I don't know if this, I don't know if this is totally accurate or not. But again, like a guy I spoke to earlier, he said he saw this going on since like twelve o'clock. So it's now, it's it's 5.38 right now, which means this has been going on for five hours. The ambulance is still, they're still right there. Yeah, this is kind of close to Gastown. Right. There's some kind of there's some kind of fire medical situation happening up ahead. Yeah, like somebody if somebody could have watched Avatar twice in the amount of time this has been going on. Yo, Ginger's amazing. Check out her page if you haven't already. She's got some awesome content. There's more cops going inside. Hey, Trisha's in here. What's going on? Nice to see you, Trisha. Jeanette, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. It's weird. Like, I try to subscribe back to anyone that subscribes to me, but apparently on TikTok, once you hit, once you subscribe to 10,000 people, like that's the cap they have on the amount of people you can subscribe to. Audrey, hey, nice to see you. How's it going? Doing us? Awesome. Doing great. How you doing? Uh, this is East Haste West. What is this? This is Abbott Street and. Abbott and Hastings. Candace, it's an apartment building where the incident is taking place.
Hey, Arena, thanks for the likes. Appreciate it. Brenda, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. One of the cops is heading inside the bar. Looks like. Grab some coffee, maybe. Oh no no, just in general. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I haven't had a lot to drink right now. Well, I would probably have to use the bathroom. <laughs> You know, maybe the cop's gonna have like an apple teeny, some wings, catch up on the hockey game. There's a hockey game going on too, I don't know who's playing. Ooh. Yeah, no, it's weird how few of the cops in this city are actually friendly. Most of them are super... They seem super hostile, some of them. Oh no, they're taking more guns inside. There's more, you can see more SWAT team members over there. I just heard a clicking sound. They're loading up their guns or whatever. I think they're taking more weapons inside. The Lotus used to be a lesbian bar, what? What is a lesbian bar? That's the first time I've heard of a lesbian bar. <laughs> Hey, so there's a police standoff going on. Apparently it's been happening since like 12 o'clock, so five hours or so now. There's SWAT team members on site. About an hour ago, one of the SWAT team people took a chainsaw inside. Seems like someone might be barricaded in their room, possible mental episode or something going on. MW Stone, hey, thanks for subscribing. I'll just try to subscribe, but yeah, I know they took a. I think they're gonna break down. They probably have already. They're gonna. They, they probably like tore through the door if somebody was barricading themselves inside. Like, what a terrible situation, though. I'm not totally. It's not confirmed whether the person is going through like mental distress or not, but if that is the situation, you know. I mentioned this before, but it's so difficult to access mental health in Vancouver. It's possible this whole thing could have been prevented if the person had actually received help. If like if they reached out for help and they didn't receive it. Hey Nana, Felicia, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Yeah, I know. I think. They've either already stormed, stormed the room, or they're going to storm the room. It's a developing story. Don't have all the details yet. Possible troll. There's actually an ambulance on standby. Apparently that ambulance has been here from the beginning or close to the beginning like, I could be wrong but I don't think they even have like a crisis negotiator on scene here or like mental professionals on scene this is close to the downtown east side Hastings is probably just a few blocks away from here Exactly, the cops should be kept away from any, any situation that involves mental health. They should totally be kept away from that situation given their history they have. Or they should be accompanied by some kind of interventionist.
Brian, hey, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe. Cops going inside. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna check out a different vantage point. Brandon, I'm not gonna do a share. Thanks. Martin, hey, how's it going? Nice to see you. Yeah, the mods in here are awesome. <laughs> they keep the they keep the live running smoothly. Any trolls get booted. You know, like, if, if the person inside that's barricaded themselves, allegedly inside, if they're going through a mental health crisis, like, this is a horrible response to it. Like, this is a criminal response, and it shouldn't be a criminal response. Unless there was some kind of violence or whatever involved. It's a police standoff. Is something being delivered? They're taking like a big box inside the building. I don't think that has anything to do with the police incident. I think that's just some kind of shipment, a resident or something. William, I haven't followed. I haven't followed up on that. There seem a police standoff. There's somebody apparently like barricaded in their room. Yeah. Possibly, I don't know if they have weapons or not. But they, they got like SWAT team and stuff here too. That's crazy. Yeah, I know, it is good. Hey, I have a good one. Yeah, that's the weird. It's possible there is a like crisis negotiator inside, but I don't know. There was some kind of medic that came out of the building about 20 minutes ago. And there's the outside of the building. Hey, that's a good movie. I think I've seen that. The one with Colin Farrell, whatever movie, phone booth. That's a good movie. Yeah, no, they haven't evacuated the building. I think it's just one floor. Like whatever room they're trying to get into, the floor it's on, I think that's the... It's possible they evacuated that floor, but... Yeah, there's people going in and out. William, yeah, this is probably slowing down traffic a little bit. Lorraine. Uh, I don't think anybody's jumped out of a... Hey, some of the other SWAT team guys are... Members are leaving. I don't think anybody's jumped out... Of the window. Hey, Martin. Hey, thanks for being in here. Appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, that would be a, that would be a terrible outcome if somebody jumped out of one of the windows. Hey, Nikki, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I've, I've already been here for like an hour, so I'll probably stay until until the incident is over. Hey, I'm surprised they don't have defenses set up for that. Like what if like what if the person decided to do that, like jump out the window, but they don't have I don't know if they've thought about that.
I don't know, almost 6 p.m. Jazz, what's going on? There hasn't been an outcome yet. I think the person's still inside. They might have the person in custody. Cause some of the some of the SWAT team members have left. But about 20 minutes ago, there was actually a switch out, like some of the SWAT team members left, but they were replaced with other SWAT team members and they got, they had a couple guns and some other device that they took inside. So it doesn't seem like it's over yet. A resident of the building. What? Is that confirmed though? That could be a troll. Hey, road mutt. Appreciate the likes. Thank you. Hey, I'm going to charge my phone. Hey, what's going Anything on? Anything happen? Huh? Anything else happen? No, it's still going on. Yeah, like, same shit. Yeah. The chainsaw still in there? Huh? The chainsaw still in there? Yeah, yeah, still in there. Yeah. Some more SWAT guys went inside. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got a channel? Can I follow you? Yeah, of course. I'll follow you back. Uh, Rakesh, Rakesh ND. Fuck yeah, G. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Man. My auntie does uh, radio. She like covers a lot of shit happening on the downtown east side. Oh, awesome. What is it? It's the cooperative radio station. Yeah. I actually just went online for her and just reported this real quick. Cool. Yeah, man. But like maybe I should link you and my auntie up. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. I see you around. You cover some yeah. stuff, man. Yeah. Uh, can you spell it? Oh, R A K E S H N D. Thanks. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, man. Hey, what's yeah, man, you're crushing it. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hey, it's awesome what she's doing. We need more Dude, reporters real, in the downtown. It makes such a difference. It fucking does. Yeah, I know. Dude, am I tripping? R A K E S H N D. Yeah. Oh, some more cops came out. They went in that direction. Yeah. Yeah, they went yeah. to get in that car. Dude, I'm tripping. I think they fucking shadow banned you, man. What? That's pretty That's weird. Is that TikTok? Oh, it's TikTok. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got Instagram. <laughs> no, no. It was Instagram. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, G. I'm old school. <laughs> oh, I got a text in there. She got found as well this morning. She got found. Oh, she was found? Yeah, she oh, was that's, found. That's good news. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, she was found. Hey, they found this woman. Oh. Yeah. Courtney Well. Yeah, I found her this morning or last night. Well, that's good news. Yeah, and she's with the family and everything. Yeah. Wow, here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. Like, do you need to do that? Here we go. Oh, there's more cops arriving. No, like the, the All right, I'm going to have a Have a good one. Bro, yeah. yeah, nice meeting you. Okay, so additional cops arriving on scene.
Hey, thank you for the roses. How far? You're awesome. Oh, it's more SWAT people. You got more SWAT people coming in. I mean, you can just make your own new shell on these days. <laughs> One of the great things about the internet, social media. Yeah, it looks like there's a shift change going on. Darlene, you're amazing. Thank you for the roses. Diane, thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Ginger, thanks for sharing the live. Ambi, thanks for the likes. Oh no, my phone's gonna die out pretty quick, pretty soon. What is going on? Yo, that's pretty cool. I apologize for that. My phone died. I just got it. I should have charged. I should have plugged in the portable charger sooner, but yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, so more SWAT team members arrived. I think another one just went in. Hey, that's pretty cool that you can continue off continue the live I thought I would have to like start it all over again Julie you're amazing huh? thank you for the likes sweet Yo, this battle, I don't, I don't have that much juice remaining in my portable battery pack either. So if this goes for more than like, I don't know how much longer this is going to take, but it's possible my phone might die again. Tina, hey, thank you for subscribing. You're awesome. Appreciate it. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Kemper face reveal. Wait, whose face are you talking about? Oh. Crystal, you're amazing. Thanks for the likes. Uh. <laughs> But my face, my face is on my. Anybody that wants to see what I look, I don't know why you would want to see what I look like. <laughs> it's probably a bad decision, but I've got a profile picture on TikTok. Crystal is awesome. Check out her page if you haven't already. Thanks for the likes. Yeah, exactly. Abbott Street and I think West West Hastings and Abbott. Ooh. I'm gonna put the gimbal on again. Oh, there's more cops arriving, I guess. Oh, 
Yeah, there's some SWAT team. A SWAT team member getting more equipment or something. Oh shit. What the Lorraine? How can you? How'd you see my zipper? <laughs> oh, when the camera flipped. Right, thank you for that good advice. No, I don't. <laughs> hey, that guy's recording too. Awesome guy. Met him earlier. He said his his aunt does some reporting on the downtown east side. Of course, we need more of that, like real reporting on what's going on in the downtown east side. There's a, the guy you see over there reaching into his car, he's getting equipment or something, that's one of the SWAT team members. Julie, thanks for the likes. Chris, I thank you for being in here. I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, this gimbal is acting weird. It's like turning on its own. Yeah, they're still in the building. Possible troll. And they gotta make mental. If they don't make mental, it's it's not confirmed whether the person in there is going through some kind of mental health episode or whatever. But that is at the center of like uh, quite a few of these types of incidents. It seems like they gotta prioritize mental health. Lois, Lois, sorry if I'm saying that wrong. There's a police standoff going on. <coughs> yeah, they, they gotta tackle the mental health crisis with urgency like they haven't done nearly enough Yeah, that's the thing, like so many people are struggling right now, whether it be financially, it just adds to the... It can probably be overwhelming for some people, like the amount of stress that they're facing from different directions, like financially. Yo, what does he have on his head? That's like some kind of night vision or something. <laughs> that guy's got like Call of Duty apparel on. But the crazy thing is like the cops will arrest, even if somebody, even if it's unsubstantiated, like someone, they've been false alarm. Oh shit. Mm. 
there's been false alarm type situations where some Karen like falsely calls the police and says she thinks someone has a gun and just like based on that like the SWAT team will arrive Hey, thanks for the ice cream cone appreciate it Yeah, swatting. That's part of it. Yeah, that's insane how easy it is to just sick the police on somebody, like endanger someone's life just based on a false report. I think that might be a different, I'm not sure if they're here for this incident or if there's like a separate incident going on. Because there's another fire truck. Or is that a paramedic up ahead? Quebec, hey, you're awesome. Thanks for subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Phoenix, they're amazing. Thank you for following. Uh, subscribing. I'll try to subscribe back to you. Mike Sadu, I'm not sure what incident you're referring to. Phoenix, yeah, it is getting cold out. My hands are actually starting to freeze a little bit. <laughs> 